Front locking devices are an integral part of any um, tandem drawer box application that you, that you make. So if you're going to build a cabinet and you're going to use tandem drawer boxes, then you're also going to be using uh, front locking devices. All of the front locking devices that you see here, you are able to use them either for uh, inset applications or overlay applications. On the right side, these uh, front locking devices do not have side to side adjustment. Uh, they do have uh, up and down. You can raise or lower your drawer front with these, but you can't shift side to side. The ones here on my left, those have side to side adjustment. You can see the adjustment wheels on those front locking devices. They'll give you some up and down adjustment on your drawer front. They require a half inch uh, recess here um, in order for them to function properly. So we'll get started by talking about uh, the most popular one, uh, the one here uh, on my right side. Our first uh, pair of uh, front locking devices uh, is the BT51.1801. Uh, a nice feature of this uh, locking device is that uh, you're able to uh, screw it directly to the, the bottom of the drawer box. And that, and that is if you have at least a half an inch. Uh, then you can use these holes that you see here and go directly into the bottom of the drawer box. However, normally this would be uh, screwed into the subfront. And uh, there is a precise angle that these holes uh, here need to be drilled. Uh, and uh, that's why it is uh, advisable to use the um, tandem uh, drilling template in order to drill those holes. So then your, uh, your pieces fit right up into here. And then you would uh, screw them into place. Here's the adjustment for up and down. Just depress this thing here and slide it back and forth and this moves the drawer box uh, up and down. It has a captive right member. This is the right member. It's on my left side, but it is the right member. And in this case, when you slide the drawer slide into it, there's no tolerance for the slide to move to the left and the right a little bit. Whereas on the other side, on the, um, on the left side, or the left member, this one has some tolerance, so the slide will move a little bit. Uh, if it has to, based on the uh, uh, construction of the door, drawer box and so on. Uh, the the uh, front locking devices uh, also have some tolerance for how far the slide uh, goes into the uh, into the locking device. So here this, we put the slide on and it clicks into place and there is some tolerance and there needs to be because you might use a half inch subfront or a five eighths or a three quarter inch subfront and then there's tolerance for that uh, built into the into this front locking device. So this is a good a good device. Now let's take a look at this front locking device with an added on vertical mounting tab. Uh, the, these uh, front locking devices are identical and uh, let me show you uh, something here. <laughs> there. That is the entire difference between this front locking device and this front locking device. I guess I did a little oversimplification there. Uh, this bracket doesn't just come flipping off there like I showed you. It's, uh, it is securely mounted uh, to this uh, front locking device. That bracket is on there to stay. Uh, I just uh, loosened this uh, up and, and set it off to demonstrate that there's absolutely no difference between these two locking devices except this uh, vertical mounting bracket. When you are using um, this front locking device, uh, you need to have a 5 eighths of an inch subfront. Otherwise, everything is identical. Just like you had to pre-drill the holes for um, at an angle for the uh, locking devices on the previous application. In this one, you need to pre-drill the holes here um, for the uh, what they call the vertical mount locking device. And then the, the screws would go in from the top like this. This is really a nice feature on these slides. Uh, it requires a half an inch depth for that to work in there and a minimum of a 5 8 inch subfront to make it work. And all the same features 
as the uh, BT5180 new one, the, the one we just looked at before. Uh, the same up and down adjustment. The um, captive uh, right side and the one with the tolerant side on the left. This is really a nice front locking device. This uh, locking device um, is a vertical mount uh, also. It needs to be pre-drilled from here to prevent splitting of the subfront. Uh, it requires a recess of a half an inch in order to function properly. Has the th same three millimeter height adjustment as the previous two that we looked at. Um, the, the, the reason they manufactured this particular uh, front locking device is it makes it possible to do very narrow uh, drawers. Uh, in fact, the literature says that um, the inside of the drawer can be as narrow as three and three quarters inches. So a very narrow drawer. And so if you're going to do a narrow drawer, this uh, locking device would be pretty handy for that. Now we're going to discuss the uh, front locking devices that have the side-to-side uh, uh, -side adjustment uh, built into them. So this is a really nice uh, feature for the locking devices. In reality, they're not much different than uh, the basic uh, front locking device with the exception of the side-to-side -side adjustment. Otherwise, uh, the function of this uh, locking device is the same. But the side-to-side -side feature is an extremely nice thing. In the cabinets that I built, the side-to-side -side feature saved me a couple of times. So I, I like that side-to-side -side feature. Otherwise, they're all the same. There is this three millimeter up and down uh, lever here on, on them. So you have that adjustment for your drawer front to go up and down. The side-to-side -side adjustment from the left to the right and this, the spring-loaded release lever for releasing your um, uh, drawer runner. With this front locking device, it's also uh, necessary to have uh, that precise angle drilled into your subfront in, in order to get the uh, front locking device to, uh, to rest uh, uh, snugly against the bottom of your drawer box. I also like that uh, there are these uh, two holes here if you would like to mount your front locking device to the bottom of your drawer box, uh, then you can use those holes and, and then screw it right to the bottom of, of the drawer box. Uh, now you would have to have a half inch drawer bottom to make that work. Uh, the quarter inch bottom, the screws will come through and that wouldn't be a very good thing. This front locking device has a, a captive uh, right side member and a tolerance left side member. They're very, very nice front locking devices. Now let me show you how nice this fits in here. Uh, it locks in really nice. And now it's in, then uh, you can release the slide. So captive member here, and then a little bit of tolerance on, on this side. These front locking devices that we're showing you in this video works on all of the series of tandem slides except the tandem edge. Uh, it doesn't work on that one. It also doesn't work on the Movento slides. Now let's talk a little bit about the front locking device that has the side-to-side -side adjustment, uh, but it also has a vertical mounting adapter. This set of front locking devices is identical to this locking device. All of the features are exactly the same as this front locking device, uh, except this added on vertical mounting tab. So with that added on to here, um, there's no difference between those, how they function and what they do for your, uh, the, your drawer front. I can see this vertical locking uh, feature being very practical and useful at times. Um, but uh, again, you have to uh, drill, pre-drill for these. The thickness of this subfront material has to be five-eighths of an inch thick to accommodate this mounting bracket. This is a really nice uh, front locking device. Uh, you need to drill your holes at an angle to get into your subfront and possibly prevent splitting of the subfront. Uh, it, it has the uh, uh, three millimeter up and down adjustment like all the others. It has your side-to-side -side adjustment 1.5 millimeters each way. 
but the super feature on this is that it's designed uh, for uh, inset drawer applications and it has an adjustment with an out adjustment here uh, uh, built right into this locking device ideal for an inset application and it, it gives you the uh, in and out adjustment or, or at least the out adjustment that you want it gives you the left and the right it gives you the up and down so if you're doing an inset drawer this uh, front locking device is ideal uh, for your application. Now there's another feature here besides the adjustability where you would put the screwdriver in here like this and adjust your um, your front locking device so your front of your drawer uh, your drawer front is lined up exactly where you want it on your cabinet. These adjustment features do not rely on your cabinet uh, what they do is they actually engage the drawer runner itself. So if you put the drawer runner in like this and, and slide it into this locking device like that, uh, when these are adjusted they push against the drawer slide to give you the adjustments you want uh, in and out and to give you the ability to have that little bump you need for servo drive. Very nice uh, for inset applications on your drawer fronts. Now we're going to take a look at a feature that is unique with the front locking device for inset drawers only. There. See that tab? That is a, a bumper uh, that bumps against your drawer slide. So when you give your drawer a push, and then that will fire your uh, servo drive unit. All six of the front locking devices featured in this vid video are suitable for overlay uh, drawer fronts or for inset applications with drawer fronts. But if you're going to do inset applications, I highly recommend that you use the one pictured here, BT51.1901PS, uh, uh, because uh, this locking device gives you the uh, ability to adjust to get your drawer front to line up with the front of your the face of your cabinet and it has an added feature that if you're using a, a servo drive it has a bumper built in for that as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful.